The Naugatuck High School Greyhound soccer field seems more suited for dogs than athletes, and at least one coach isn't happy about that. This is our practice site, our game site, and everything happens here. So on an everyday basis, we have over 100 kids going up and down on this field. And the condition of it is, is it, it gets deplorable real quick. It looks good. And a lot of it is a lot of weeds. And as soon as we catch a cold spell, those weeds shrivel up. The next thing you know, we're, we're running around on mud. Naugatuck's football field is in similar shape. Naugie had to move a game earlier this season because of rain. A lot of teams played that night. Um, we moved it the next day because our field, if we played that evening, our field would have been done for the year. We would have caused such damage. It just can't take that. Um, that cost me about $1,000 to relocate that game when you talk about ambulance and police and rental fees and things like that. Um, not to mention the money that we lost. I would venture to say close to $1,000 that night on um, our concessions. A new complex with a turfed upper field, like this artist's rendering, is part of an $80 million high school renovation plan. The turf would make a, a, an unbelievable difference only for the fact that you can practice on it, play on it, no matter what the conditions. This would be a premier, this would be the type of thing that we could put up here and, and our kids could be proud of and our kids can love and it could be something that draws a 30 year old starting out family here to, hey let's come to Naugatuck and let our kids go to these beautiful new schools and play ball here on beautiful safe fields. We unfortunately, we have a, a building that's decades and decades old. Um, and the improvements that are part of the referendum, are, that are part of the renovation proposal, they're coming no matter what. That work is going to have to get done. Um, so, you know, we're talking about an $80 million project roughly for which the district is going to be responsible for roughly 20, considering the 75% reimbursement rate from the state. So you can get $80 million worth of work for $20 million and do it right once and let it be, a, let it be beautiful and done right. Um, or let's say that $20 million that we would spend, let's say we spend half that band-aiding things in the district for the next decade. So you got really very little, some band-aids for your $10 million, or you could get $80 million for your $20 million. I, I'm, I'm Maybe I'm oversimplifying it. Again, people would argue, well, you're not a taxpayer. It's easy for you to say. Um, you know, I, I just, I try to do what's best for the kids and always keep what's best for this complex in mind, and to me it's a no-brainer. So while Naugatuck residents will head to the ballot box in November to vote on this referendum plan to fix these fields, their greyhounds will have to deal with fields like these through the rest of the fall. In Naugatuck, Kyle Brennan, 